Hello and welcome back in this very very cool and very awesome requested video. So I received 19 hours ago a cool requested video by Mr. Mr. Levin Lover. He requested and I quote here, I have a challenge build the biggest V16 engine as possible uh, with the biggest yes, fuel efficiency. That's what he wants. So this is or this video has two requested things in it. Uh, as, I, as I said, I have this requested video by Mr. Levin Lover, Levin Lover, yes. And also, I have another comment by Mr. Foxter. He's talking, or he 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 wrote a comment about how do you make engines as fuel efficient as you, uh, as yours. I'm really interested. Okay, so let's do two 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 comments or two requested things in a single video. Let's start with with the specs. We have. A v v shape 90 degrees 16 cylinder engine cast iron block with let's see 120 millimeters on the bore 1.1 120 millimeters on the stroke maxed out bore and stroke which equals 21,715 cc engine absolutely massive we have dual overhead camshafts with four valves per cylinder cast iron head Variable, variable valve lift technology with forged steel crankshaft and for heavy duty forged connecting rods and forged pistons. This combination here, so this engine, because this engine makes a lot of torque, and I want the internals to take that torque without any problem. And uh, Mr. Mr. Levin Lover here requested a plus 15 quality engine. So everything you will see is plus 15 quality. Uh, 10. Point 1 to 1 is the compression ratio with 10 on the cam profile, 35 on the variable valve lift profile. I, I'm, also, I'm also using variable valve timing on all cams with plus 15 quality here. Twin turbocharged engine with ball bearings and we have uh, 1571 horsepower supporting intercooler. Uh, super economical and super efficiency custom turbocharger with 95 and a half millimeters on the compressor 60.5 millimeter on the turbine and maxed out ar ratio and max boost of 8.96 psi with plus 15 quality on the turbos uh, we have direct fuel injection single throttle body race intake ultimate 100 100 octane fuel the leanest amount of air fuel ratio which is 15 and maxed out ignition timing and a max rpm of 5700 rpm plus 15 quality on the fuel system with short cast headers dual exhaust pipes and no restrictions whatsoever with 3.5 inch is the exhaust diameter or 88.9 millimeters so as you can see this massive beast here makes 1434.6 horsepower and 2228 pound feet of torque as you can see it's very reliable it's extremely it's extremely efficient as you can see 46 percent which is extremely efficient and we have uh, the service cost yes it's, it's i mean don't look at the cost or the engineering time look at the engineering time 1182.7 years and years and years of engineering just don't look here because this is like the, the most um, the most efficient engine in automation i think or not not the, not the most not the most efficient engine in automation this is the most efficient v16 engine in automation yes so we have I'm using nearly all the octane the engine without catalytic converters runs really clean the engine is extremely smooth with a racing not a racing camshaft with as an economical camshaft the engine is responsive it's extremely extremely loud and it's good it's good in every single way but it's massive as you can see now this is the engine as you can see look at these 16 cylinders turbos everything all right now let me show you how but first let's run the engine as you can see 1436 
as you can see and hear the engine sounds extremely loud and it's extremely torquey and powerful at the same time so let me show you some tips you can do just to get the, high, uh, the highest efficiency of any engine as possible well let's first starting with the internals I mean some uh, some of some of you will say what's the what's the internals what's the internals have to do with fuel efficiency it, 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 it can it can change the fuel efficiency significantly for example we have uh, in the cast division we have the normal cast now this won't do you any favors heavy duty cars the same would will not do you any favor in the fuel efficiency forge pistons will give you more octane headroom so for example if uh, if, if, if I'm using regular cast and I have 99.9 .9 like this one and then and then if I change it from cast to forge it will drop down from 99 to for example 9, uh, 98 it will drop like one octane one point of an octane this is the main advantage of forged hyper cast this these this kind of pistons here uh, these will these will make your make your engine less toxic the emissions the, the emissions will drop significantly using these hyper cast pistons low friction cast this is what you what, what you want if you are making a high efficiency engine but you have to be careful because low friction cast these are very 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 weak uh, pistons these cannot take too much torque they will break down easily so your engine has to be efficient and at the same time not really torquey that's why I did not choose them here because with, with without any turbos naturally aspirated and these cast uh, low friction cast pistons they got destroyed easily that's why I've switched to forge because forge are the, the highest and the, high, the heaviest duty pistons in, in the game that whatever, whatever torque you will throw on them they can take it easily as you can see they can go all the way nearly nearly 5,000 pound feet of torque so they can take too much punishment without any saying without saying any problem the same goes for connecting rods connecting rods no these will not affect your fuel efficiency and of course the crankshaft as well so you have to keep in mind if you have like for example an inline 4 engine an inline 3 engine and you want you want the highest fuel efficiency I would suggest choosing low friction cars but if you have a V8 or a V6 V6 will be, it, it can work on low, low friction cast if, if, you, if you don't have too much torque but a V8, V12, V16 no you have to choose forged or regular cast because low friction cast no this will not work uh, the quality also the quality it will, can, it can affect how much torque they can get and how much RPM they can go up to so keep in mind also on the engineering time because increasing more quality means more engineering time now let's go here we have the compression ratio of course more compression means more fuel efficiency also more compression means that you need higher octane values so the engine will not knock uh, keep in mind that twin uh, turbocharged engine with direct fuel injection can start from 9 9.5 to 1 up to 10 sometimes 10.5 to 1 and sometimes you can go you can go crazy if, if you are not pushing too much boost and timing in the engine if you are using EFI no you have to start from 8 8.5 to 1 9.9.0 to 1 and then 9.5 to 1 compression ratio but if you are using a naturally aspirated engine with direct fuel injection you can go crazy with the compression you can go all the way to 13.0 to 1 yes you can go all that crazy cam profile if you are using variable valve lift keep an eye on the cam profile this is the I call this the daily driving profile if you are driving the car slowly at low rpm adjust it perfectly and keep an eye on the fuel efficiency for example let me show you increasing the cam profile right now will not affect yes it, as you can see increased it to 14 we have dropped it to 45.9 so keep an eye on the sweet spot as you can see sweet spot is 10 also the variable valve lift keep an eye on the fuel efficiency as you can see increased more it will lose fuel efficiency decrease it you have to find the sweet spot as you can see 35 variable valve timing will always give you more fuel efficiency and more torque and power so it, it's a good option to use unless if you are building a cheapy cheapy engine then, then, then don't use it quality also 
also increase the liability fuel efficiency lower octane values it will make everything better with high quality but it will increase the engineering time extremely high and turbos uh, mr mr Le Mr. Levin Love, he, he said that the, the turbos will, will kill fuel efficiency. No, that's not correct. Also, when you choose a turbocharged engine, choose ball bearing. These are much better and much more efficient. And uh, when you are starting to make a custom turbocharger, don't worry, it's not hard. Always, always, always start with maximum AR ratio and minimum down, down, extremely down on the turbine. This way you will get really really low end torque, low, good low end torque and much more fuel efficiency. And then start to adjust the compressor size and the boost according to your goal. If you are making max power, you can keep an eye on the power and torque and octane. But if you are going for fuel efficiency, adjust these according to your fuel efficiency gauge. Quality do the same thing, more reliability, more fuel efficiency and low end torque. Fuel system now this is where everything all the magic happens because without fuel the engine will not run so choosing direct fuel injection this is the best modern option which will give you extremely high fuel efficiency and very 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 low uh, octane need for the engine uh, it's a good way to start multi-point fuel injection this is this is this is becoming classic these days but it still has it's still been used and uh, it's efficient but not as direct fuel injection single point efi this is the worst option you can ever choose for an engine mechanical fuel injection this is the first and the classiest fuel system ever it's very complicated very expensive and no don't choose it i mean if you if you're building engine in, in 2010 and more and up choose efi and direct fuel injection Single throttle body or twin or throttle per cylinder. If you are making a fuel efficient engine, keep you keep it sing keep it simple and single. If if you want to make more power and make your engine uh, respond more, go with twin or throttle per cylinder. These will not affect your fuel efficiency at all. Intake standard intake actually make makes the engine uh, lose fuel efficiency. So uh, removing all the restrictions on the intake racing intake will make the fuel efficiency much much higher uh, fuel type according to your engine what uh, and its octane needs choose carefully fuel mixture if you are building a, uh, an extremely fuel efficient engine drop it down to the leanest setting the settings as you can see 15.0 this is the leanest and start working from here start to make your engine start to make you an, an engine that works on the leanest air fuel ratio ever Ignition timing. Also keep an eye on your ignition timing if your engine will knock or not. The RPM limit is also optional for your for your internals and for your power and torque. Increasing the quality here means higher fuel efficiency and low oct low octane values because this is where this is where the fuel efficiency happens. So keep an eye out also for the for the quality because increasing it by one point will increase your engineering time too much uh, the exhaust the exhaust is is weird sometimes bigger exhaust make more fuel efficiency sometimes smaller exhaust more makes more fuel efficiency also keep an eye on that restrictions I mean 99 99% of the times just remove them and you will get um, higher fuel efficiency sometimes like the 1% you know you have to keep some mufflers also the quality works the same way as you can see so this so this is basically how to make a fuel efficient engine as you can see it works it works basically these options works basically on all the engines on automation just keep an eye on the fuel efficiency and choose what's best to increase this number if you are making a fuel efficient engine so thank you so much for watching, thank you so much Mr. Loving Lover and thank you so much Mr. Foxter for your cool comments and requests and thank you so much Mr. Loving Lover for your cool request. This is your V16 engine, the most efficient V16 engine in the game. I hope you, li you liked it guys, if you enjoyed the video please hit that thumbs up, hit that like button, get subscribed and share the video if you want to share it and I will see you very very soon with more cool videos like this one and even more. So goodbye for now my friends.